when a child asks you, I'm sure you've got a, a young relative, and they ask you, Tim, Uncle Tim, what do you do for a living? What's your response? So, well, I've got a 10-year-old uh, who thinks that what I do isn't very cool. Uh, <laughs> he he su suggested the other day that I might want to change jobs, do something more fun like be a cowboy or... <laughs> Uh, or a fire, pirate or a fireman astronaut. pirate yeah. <laughs> so, well yeah uh so uh, but i was explaining it to him recently and i said that i'm the chief risk officer for um uh for the real-time payments business at mastercard and that he sort of screwed his face up and that's what he said that's not very cool dad uh <laughs> what does that mean and I explained that really our, our, the, the purpose of, of, our, of my role and, and the team's role is uh, we run what's known as the second line of defense within the business. And our purpose is to um, help the business um, create and manage a, a risk taxonomy. And mm. within that risk taxonomy, they're, they're, they're obliged under the Banking Act because of the services that we run within the UK. Mm. Uh, they're obliged to have a, a risk appetite statement which talks about from each of the business leaders' um, views, uh, the level of risk that they're prepared to accept for the services that they run for our customers. And so we have to record that. And then effectively we play that back to the business in a daily basis to say, are they meeting those obligations? And uh, if they're not, uh, you know, what potential risks are, are, are being, I suppose, born or what risks have materialized and crystallized? And then we help the business then design a remediation for those risks that they sure. identify and a timeline and who owns it and what cost and, and what have you. And as part of that, our, our purpose and, and some folks describe risk management as, as a critical friend is a, is a good way to think of it. Yeah. Um, so we're that second line before you get to the third line, which is the audit team. So audit is quite forensic. They will come in and do... Um, you know, a particular investigation or an assessment mm. on a particular service or a function, uh, and they will sit. They will do that against uh, a sort of a more defined set of parameters, so more like an exam test type yeah. um, review. Whereas our role is more tends to be more conversational and more. There's a lot more around discovery and planning for remediation and so on. So, but our our purpose is to help the business identify risks that they already have in place and quantify those. So how big, how wide, uh, what, what will it take to fix them or remove them? Um, or how to manage them if they're to be risk accepted, because some risks simply can't be removed mm. because of the nature of the business. Um, and also to uh, enable them to be able to quantify that risk uh, in terms of a materiality level. So what does it mean in terms of the service outage provisions or against the regulations that are in place um, and then also to identify risks that are emerging so risks sure. that we see that are coming and, and, and that can include anything from the geopolitical noise coming out of the russia ukraine events right? yeah which is you know a number of people will, will tell you who's you know one of the principal drivers for the inflation that we're seeing at the moment that's that's running because of supply and and whatever you for for various um you know items that are harder to get um, also being able to articulate things like the, you know, the effect of COVID um, and the effect that that's had on the markets around the world um, and certainly affected things like our ability to be able to get certain key equipment and hardware for, for our, our technology requirements. So we spend a lot of time um, looking at those sort of risks and we do that through a whole range of ways, whether it be uh, researching through, you know, peer organisations or various forums um, that run or specific investigative work that we're doing um, with our partners or suppliers and what have you. Mm. And then ultimately what we have to do then is convert all of that risk summary that I just talked about into a quarterly report. And that risk report goes to the risk committee and the risk committee then effectively interrogates that report and determines whether the materiality that's being declared by the business owners is in fact correct. Sure. And that then goes to the board for review. And so there's a there's, there's a, a corporate governance process that effectively seeks to try to identify and you know keep the business honest, but also help the business get to a point of effective management more quickly 
and transparently. Mm-hmm.